Okay, I'm going to collect a 007 here and uh, another flashlight review. And uh, as you guys know, I love my flashlights. I have multiple flashlights in all my cars and my houses, businesses, everywhere in the garage, in the shed, my motorcycles, everywhere I keep flashlights. Um, it's one of the, my EDC items that's an absolute must. And when it comes to flashlights, I like to have good flashlights. And there's so many good ones out there. And this one here is one of the best. This is by a company called Vastfire. And I've reviewed their products before. And uh, this one, the difference is, as you'll see in a second, it's mostly for nighttime use because it comes with a green lens. So I'll show you guys that in a second. But first off, you see it comes in this nice protective uh, plastic case. So this is waterproof. If you were taking this camping or hiking, you could throw this in a backpack. It'll stay nice and dry. And then when you open it up, you got a whole bunch of stuff in here. So first off, you have a uh, tactical pressure switch, so you could just give this a quick click when it's on, and it'll, and it'll turn the light on, you know, with just that little click of a sound right there, if you didn't want to use the button, which I'll show you in a second. So that's one feature it comes with. Um, comes with a couple of different rails and mounts. So you have Picatinny rails and, and different mounts. You could mount them to your rifles, to whatever, and uh, you know you could use them you know, for hunting, which is primarily what this is used for. Comes with a piece of Velcro. If you wanted to just throw some Velcro on there, you could just throw it right on the, on the end right here. And the other part you could you know, attach to your hunting jacket or any jacket, and then you could just stick this on if you wanted to. And then, as you can see, it comes with this nice long lanyard. And then you also have, you have two ways of you could charge this. So you have a USB-C charger on it right here, which is the small one. And then you have a, uh, what I do with it, I have a USB-C, which I momentarily dropped it or whatever. But uh, that is one way you could charge it. And then uh, you also have this right here, which is a, uh, you could also put batteries in there if you felt like just using, you know, standard, it looks like AAA batteries, and then you could just use those if you wanted to. So what did I do with that charger? It's actually amazing. This is what happens when you get old. But anyway, it does come with a USB charger, and it also has another USB port, so you could use this as a power bank. So if you ever needed to charge your cell phone, you could charge your cell phone from your flashlight. So that's actually a cool feature, too. So, um, and that's that. So, very simple to operate. Uh, to unscrew it here is to get your battery. And we'll just take a look at that. And uh, you have this battery right here. So like I said, so you just put the battery in and then to charge it, you don't need any special charging devices. You're just gonna plug in that USB-C uh, port when, when I find it uh, and that's it. And then um, then you have just an on off button, which I like because a lot of different um, flashlights have too many complicated uh, buttons. And when you really need them in case of emergency, it's uh, quite difficult to fiddle around with it. And uh, you can see this is a heavy duty. It's got a rigid self-defense ring on it. And it's a nice weight. It's two point uh, three ounces and it's four inches long. It looks a little longer, but that's that's what it is. And it has three different modes of brightness and it has a strobe light as well as an SOS light. So the thing about this is it's 2000 lumens and it is adjustable. So we're indoors. I'm not going to be able to show you all of it, but it'll go anywhere from 500 feet to 500 to a thousand yards out. That's how far out this, this, this beam will go. So again, it's for you know, hunting at night and you got this uh, green beam. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this out of the way. And again, I can't believe I just lost that thing. It has to be here. Um, but okay, there we go. I'm getting old. There it is. So there's the, uh, there's the charger right there. So basically you would just charge this put this into USB port and then you put that into the USB C part right there and then you charge the battery so you never have to worry about you know having a dead battery on this so what we're gonna do is we're going to dim the lights and we're gonna just take a look at the uh, at the output on this what it looks like it's still kinda it's actually still daylight where I live and uh, but we're going to give it a shot so let's see so we're going to go like this. Sorry about this awkward uh, camera. Just like this. And we're going to just go like that. And voila, 
there's your green light as you can see right there so uh now let me hold this really far back so you can see everything is bathed in a nice green color so at night like i said you could adjust this so you could turn it and you can make it go like this or you could go all the way out so 500 up to a thousand yards out which is you know ridiculously long so you could you could bathe your entire backyard in a nice green light if you wanted to and let's uh play with the features on it so you see the button is lit when it's charged it's fully green um, when it's low on power this will turn red and let's just see the different settings so that's on i guess full and we push it once it gets a little lower push it again lower push it again and we have a strobe light and then we push it again and we have sos so pretty friggin' cool i think uh, a lot of nice features on that and you push it again and it's off so um really 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 nice uh flashlight from olight i love the lanyard on it and let's get some lights on here now so we can see what we're doing um, one of these days i'm going to figure out how to edit and uh save you guys from all of this embarrassment but uh what are you going to do in the meantime it is what it is so okay so i'm back and that's again that's the light so you can see this green right there um quite different i don't think i have any green flashlights so we'll push it and shut it off and uh, and that's it so uh, i'll put a link below you can get this on amazon i'm totally an amazon junkie i, I buy everything on amazon there's not one day my, my driver even questions me he's like do you, do you go one day without getting anything and i'm like pretty much no and uh, that's it this is also an adjustable lanyard so you could adjust it like that you could put it over your hand you could attach it to your belt you could uh, you could do all kinds of things with it but i also like it it's a, it's even though like i said you know it's it's lightweight it feels kind of good so if you needed it for a self-defense situation um it could be used for that too so it's not what they made it for but who knows you never know if you're in a bad situation in this crazy world so just taking a look at this vast fire uh flashlight um i'll leave the link in the description below all right thanks very much for watching